Masters at Alexandra Palace. One. This is not an easy flight by any means along the cushion, especially if he's putting some work in the cue ball. But it's there. <laughs> Do you think that the way Ronnie Eight. played that last plant, that he, he's maybe not thinking he's going to get punished all the time by Ryan? Just at the end, it curled towards the pocket there. I think it was, uh, I don't know whether it was at York, but no. one of the tournaments, the, along the cushion, the, the black was pulling away from the cushion. We've seen a few balls missed, but... Um, that the table fitters are uh, unbelievably talented to get these tables running so 16. true. It's a very difficult task. 17. Twenty two. Thirty-three. There's a red in the middle of the eight reds. So seven reds that goes to this left corner. And that looks to be pretty much perfect. Forty. And nudging another red into the open from this shot. Forty-one. Finished short in the cue ball there. He potted the black thick. 48. And went in off the, the right hand side jaw. You can watch this. It's actually lucky to pot it. And that's why the pace was out of the cue ball. 49. Yeah, that's a lovely shot. Lots of left hand side, check side. See here you think he's not going to be on the black, but the check side just takes it away. They punished Ryan Day in the frame before the mid-session interval for a careless escape into the bunch. Where he left it short, Ronnie not 74 in. He's missed a black off the spot, and this is the result. It's going to cost him this fifth frame. 62. 63. Yeah, that was uh, a bad miss for Ryan and proving very costly. 70. Needs one more red to make sure. There's still a possible 59 on the table. There's a red up the other end. But that secures the frame. 71. Yeah, I think, Stephen, when you said about the pressure on Ryan Day, not only playing Ronnie O'Sullivan, but this vast crowd, almost 2,000 people in, that put so much pressure uh, on the opposing player. Because it used to be like that when you, you, you played Jimmy White or Alex Higgins at the conference centre. You had to play the players and also the crowd. The only way you could keep the crowd quiet was to keep knocking balls in. Yeah, a wonderful positional shot there to keep the hopes of the century alive. 79.
Yeah, but you're right. You're right. He's not only playing a solo when he's playing nine, 1,900 86. of his supporters. 87. Which can be so intimidating. We've had 13 centuries so far in this year's Daffabet Masters. 92. Well, he's had 40 this season. 94. He had 74 centuries last season. And he's on 988 centuries at the moment. 97. As Stephen said at the top of the show, when Hazel said one word to describe this man, and he said genius. One hundred and six. One hundred and twelve. Just one mistake again. That was I'm not going to say that's a bad way of playing. I mean, you can what? come out and try and keep Ronnie tight and still get beat 6-0. So, I mean, it's what, what's the right way to play? Do you want to go out attacking? Yeah, the only right way when you play against O'Sullivan is don't miss. As simple as that. I don't blame him taking a couple of pots on if he's Eight. confident of knocking them in. I certainly agree with Alan for the first one. That one in the middle pocket was... Always fraught with danger if you didn't knock it in so early in the match. But it's such a test against O'Sullivan. You play good safety, he can match you. Nine. You score well, he can match you. You just the only real solution to it all is you just can't afford to miss. That's the level he plays at. When your chance comes, you've got to go to work, and it's tough to do. Fourteen. Fifteen. Already this afternoon, the runner seven looks more focused, more calm, almost subdued in his manner around the table. Last night, his opponent definitely got him at it. It's very agitated, a lot of head shaking going on. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Would you be going into these here? I don't think so, with this one. I think definitely play the right of these two reds up for the blue, then full in the face into the pink. 30. Mm, maybe feels going into the black. There's a couple of reds sort of below the pink, a couple of plants that look like going towards the corners. 31. Maybe that's, he's already seen those and doesn't want to go into the pack from the blue. He'd definitely be going in them here. 's want to go into the pack when at least one loose red and it gives you a bit of insurance you see the red there that's in the open that's the one he's on yeah I never quite understand players and I'm talking about some professionals who just cherry pick all the reds out and don't give themselves any option I trust them to look even more so if you take the loose reds away but if you can get in there and open the pack up with a loose red available just giving yourself a better chance to make a break. A little bit low on this, which is probably what he wants, just to move a few more reds out. 46. 47. Sounded a little bit heavy, but it's OK. 
55. Yeah, I see what you mean about his look, Stephen. He's uh, in his office today, that's for sure. Looks very focused. Sixty-two. This sounds to look inevitable. There's going to be two centuries out of the first two frames. Yeah, there wasn't a great deal of pressure on Martin Gould. There is now. Seventy. Already. No, two nil behind. Hardly had his hand on the table. One poor choice of shot in the middle in the first frame. That's about it. 71. And that loose red that he started this frame with, but in no time at all. You don't feel as if you're involved in a match and you're two nil behind. Yeah, I suppose if the only positive way Martin Gould can look at it is this is exactly what you expect Ronnie to do. It's not as if it's a shock. You know, he would have come out today and think, well, if I let Ronnie in the balls, he's going, he's going to clear up. As you said earlier, John, it's just about when he gets a chance, he's just got to take them, even if it's a half, half chance. You can come up with all the theories you like on how to beat Ronnie. The only solution 86. to it all is you've just got to play exceptionally well. Like Mark Selby did in the final last year. 87. Beat him 10 frames to 8 in an absolute classic. Boy, did Mark Selby play well in that match, but that's what you've got to do if you're going to beat him. Possible 1 4 5, which would be difficult the way 94. after this red, the last two reds are positioned. 1 4 2 to beat. 95. Michael White, who Ronnie beat. Early on in the tournament, holds that record at the moment. Yeah, we're going about how to beat Ronnie. I mean, and you know, in other ways, is do something different as Sonny Akani did last night to him out of his comfort zone. The century comes up, two out of two. 100. Awesome start. Yeah, Sonny Akani's shot choice was very unorthodox. The shots he was going for, the shots he was playing, his style of play, I just I think knocked Ronnie out of his comfort zone. But if Martin's just going to take pots on and miss, this is going to be a very quick afternoon. 105. 106. This is tremendous No total clearance, but yeah, another magnificent century. Seven. Twelve. Thirteen. Twenty. Twenty one.
28. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. Sixty. Sixty-one. Sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy-six. Seventy-seven, eighty-four. Ninety-three. One hundred. One hundred and one. One hundred and eight. One hundred and ten. One hundred and thirteen. Hundred and seventeen. Hundred and twenty two, one hundred and twenty eight, one hundred and twenty nine, one hundred and twenty nine, one and the black does pot <laughs> ominous.
That's a big bonus, Eight. that black being available into that left corner. It, it's now available into both corners. So all of a sudden, Nine. he's right back in amongst them. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thirty-two. Just looking to see pink is available, I think it is. Well, that tells you it definitely 33. Is. Now, if it doesn't spot and it goes up onto the blue, that'll be handy. Now, back red of the three. Thirty-nine. So we're running. Yes, when he first came to the table, Dennis and Marco had left him. And I thought, oh, well, it's not too bad, but the fact that that black potted and then a couple of shots later, he's manoeuvred them. And this has turned into another brilliant chance, but cue ball control is just exemplary. 48. He's absolutely on fire at the minute. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Let that one slip away. First mistake from Ronnie. Sixty-three. Only a couple of pots away from securing the second frame, and he just uh, overhit that slightly. We just plan to drop it in dead weight and leave the one for the right corner. And now it's slightly more difficult, hampered a little bit as well. And safely in. 64. That was awkward queuing there. I <laughs> thought about it. Bounces. He's on the red that he played for previously. 66. Well, he, d he just doesn't look like missing at the moment. So two mistakes from Marco Fu, and it's 2 0 to Ronnie O'Sullivan. In no time at all. Seventy five. This used to be 82. a tough game, John, didn't it? <laughs> It's just the best player at the peak of his powers at the minute. Everything is just so easy. 
Okay, he lost position slightly when he had to take the red in, the, in the middle pocket, but there was an inevitability about it. He was going to get back up to the top of the table once he potted 91. that yellow. You can't hit it any better than this. You should all go and buy yourself a queue and have a go at it and see how hard it 98. is. 98. 99. Well, when he came to the table, you couldn't see any more than maybe 30 or 40 of a break. This is some effort. Unbelievable. Back to back centuries to start his match here. And his defence of the And that's it as well. 106. Oh. Needs to miss the brown. Oh, what a shot that is. Hundred and fourteen. Settle down, please. <laughs> if he does clear 70. up, he's going to equal the Ang Wembo's high break. Hundred and thirty-nine. Hundred and twenty. I think it will go into the one forties here. The way these players are playing. So. Thank you.